cheering. I was part of groups of like 50 people and they're all just screaming and high-fiving and I think it's the most enjoyable Rider day's racing coming. I've ever had yeah. in my life. That was the course. So. And how about the, the graveyard? How was yeah, that one? The graveyard was hard. I had one little, um, I'm not sure if anyone saw, but I had one little crash <laughs> on the graveyard. Oh, okay. And um, I think people did see because I heard a lot of people cheering. So, um, um, no, it's a, good, it's a good section to test everyone. And the rest of the course, you know, it's not it's not super hilly, but it's hilly and hard. And I finished the bike, you know, I could tell I could tell I've been working pretty hard. Right, right. And the run was cool. All the little bit in Papa Kits was, which we'd never seen before. That was fantastic in there, and seen as it right and all the, all the work they've been doing. So, all in all, it's a great race, really. How about the heat? Did it bother you? Um, I've been drinking a lot, and um, it's, I certainly felt hot. And on the way back, I was stopping at every station to get some water over my head and to grab some days rain every station so um i think there's going to be a lot of people suffering out there people that maybe haven't been drinking enough or missed a bottle or dropped one of their bottles i think i think it will have a lot of i was okay but i think there'll be a lot of people that um, did de will dehydrate today what was the hardest part of the race yeah. um i don't know really um probably i've had a little injury with my running and hurt my calf so when i started i hadn't been running for two weeks and and when I started, my calf started hurting immediately, and I sort of really thought, you know, am I going to be able to carry on? But it never got any worse, and I just carried on, and because of the crowd, that sort of kept me going, really. So I'd say the run was the hardest, because it did seem, it seemed very long. It seemed just to go on and on. What were the problems you experienced in swimming, Mr. Gardner? Sorry? What were the problems you experienced in swimming? In swimming? Yeah. It was hard coming back this direction towards the shore, because the um, sun was very bright, and um, I just couldn't see where I was going, so I was sort of going all over the place. And on the second lap, I decided to swim along. There's a little piece of rope that joins um, all the buoys. So I just swam, just kept looking at this rope to one side, and I knew I was going in a straight line. But on the first lap, I was going all over the place. So. And I'm not the best swimmer, so I was quite pleased to come out of the water. I don't know, maybe I was fourth or fifth, was I? Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah. But after that, you're very positive that you can win in the two races, the run and the bike. Yeah, the bike's my strongest point, so I knew I had to get a good lead on the bike, and um, I came in with quite a big lead, so um, I kind of just enjoyed the run, and um, yeah, had a good time. It was a good day. Overall, how can you describe, how can you describe the race, sir? Overall. Um, probably the best sort of first first time of race for a first race the organization has just done a fantastic job um, and it's probably the best first race and usually in the first year there's a few problems with the race and things don't work whereas here they just got it everything was kind of right first time um yeah i definitely want to come back next year and sort of defend my title and come back again when it comes to preparation, so how long did you prepare this? Yeah, just for here in the Philippines. Um, how long did I? When yeah, did I yeah, get yeah, to the Philippines? Yeah, yeah. I only got here on Wednesday, Wednesday. so um, it's not really long yeah. enough because you really need a week in the heat at least to kind of get used to it. So I only really had three days. Um, so ideally, I would come a bit earlier next time. Um, but the training, you know, the training for this would start kind of in December, so we'd have sort of two or three good months training to get ready for a, a race like this. So. 